Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be painting an urban hunter car from start to finish. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to the guys over at War Games Exclusive who sent me the car out for review. If you check the description box below you'll find a direct link to their webpage and you can actually find out about this great vehicle and other great products they sell on their web store. In this tutorial I wanted to paint the vehicle in a relatively speedy manner but also get some really nice textures using some enamel products and also doing some uh, very subtle chipping with some sponge. I really hope you like this tutorial guys and if you do please hit the like button and also follow my Facebook page. I recently gave this vehicle away in a giveaway on Facebook and I do lots of giveaways on Facebook so follow me over on my All Painting Nerd Facebook page and you could be within a chance of winning some cool hobby loot. Okay guys as always with my videos this is going to be a long one so go grab yourselves an ice hot drink or maybe an ice cold beer and we'll get started with the tutorial. I start off by priming using Alclad 2's Lacquer Primer White. It's very important to note that you have to be well ventilated if you're using these lacquer primers. I'm wearing a respirator and I also have a spray booth for ventilation. It's also important to note that this is known as a hot liquid. What that means is that only airbrushes with PTFE solvent proof packing seals should be used with this lacquer primer. Other airbrushes with rubber seals will be damaged by this lacquer primer. If you can't use lacquer primers guys, don't worry, you can use uh, Steinol Res or MIG Ammo's One Shot, which is exactly the same primer I believe, just rebranded and uh, you'll get great results from that primer as well. Here I'm priming at about 20 psi and about 4 inches away just to get a nice smooth even coverage on the vehicle. Now we're going to base coat the miniature using Games Workshop's base paint Castellan Green. It's important to note that obviously this is not uh, airbrush ready and you need to thin it down. I thin it down with some regular water uh, until it gets to a creamy consistency and uh, then uh, we're ready to airbrush and as you can see once thinned down with some water the paint sprays absolutely fantastic out of the airbrush. Now we're going to highlight the vehicle using Games Workshop Base Paint Death Guard Green. Exactly as we did a moment ago with the base layer, uh, it's important to thin this paint down out of your airbrush. I'm using a 0.35mm needle nozzle set, a Water Eclipse CS airbrush that I got from airbrushes.com and this is my favorite workhorse airbrush. I absolutely love it. It's very good for medium spray patterns and uh, you can also get some fine detail out of it as well. So um, yeah, I really highly really recommend this airbrush. As you can see, I'm aiming for all the center of the panels with the Death Guard green color and we're slowly building up uh, that highlight.
Now we're going to spray the entire vehicle using Vallejo Metal Color Gloss Varnish. It's very important to know that we're doing this for two reasons. The first reason being it's going to protect all that lovely paintwork that we've just done. And secondly, it's going to create a very shiny smooth surface that the subsequent washes are going to really flow off the brush into the recesses of the model much better than if we was not to um, place down the gloss varnish. Now we're going to use enamel products and we're going to use AK Interactive Winter Streaking Grime and AK Interactive's Odorless Thinner. And the reason we're using enamel and not acrylic is because they flow better onto the miniature. That cleanup is so much easier as well. Uh, you can come in with the Odorless Thinner and remove stains about 15 to 20 minutes after the paint's actually dried on the vehicle. After allowing the wash to dry, we're going to come in with Vallejo Premium Color Matte Varnish. I highly recommend this matte varnish over other Vallejo varnishes as it's really thin and sprays beautifully out the airbrush. Highly recommend this um, matte varnish in the Premium Color line. Now we're going to create some extreme highlights using Japanese UNIF um, World War II color. It's important to know that I remove most of the paint from the bristles of a flat headed brush and we're just dry brushing um, the Japanese color all over the vehicle. You could use um, Games Workshops Krieg Karke for this, um, which is another nice, really yellowy green color, and uh, that would create nice highlights if you can't get the Vallejo model color paint. Uh, but as you see here, I'm just working away around the whole of the vehicle, just catching all those extreme edge details, and it's going to make the vehicle just pop and come alive a little bit more.
Now we're going to create some chips onto the vehicle using Vallejo Game Air Charred Brown. Now it's very important to note that I've removed most of the paint off the sponge and I've got it into a fine point and I'm mainly aiming for the extreme edges of the panels where I think chips would naturally occur. You'd find chips on the edges of panels more so than you would in the center of panels. So you want to create a bit of narrative with your vehicles and try and get a little bit of believability in how chips and how paint would look on the vehicle that you're working on. Now we're working uh, with Games Workshop's base paint, Avalon Sunset. Now I've thinned this down and I'm going to paint in two thin passes and uh, the yellow is just going to break up all the green on the vehicle. Now we're going to use AK Interactive Streaking Grime on those yellow fuel uh, tanks on the vehicle. And that's just going to create some nice shadows on the fuel tanks. Now we're going to paint all the metallics on the vehicle using Vallejo Metal Color Exhaust Manifold. Now it's really important to note that with the manifold color um, and Vallejo Metal Colors in general is they're really thin but they give absolutely fantastic coverage with a brush even though they're specifically designed for the airbrush. So sometimes you'll find that airbrush paints can be just as good for the brush as they are for the airbrush.
Now we're going to wash the vehicle using the Army Painters Strong Tone. I'm a huge fan of the Army Painters washes and also their metallics. I think they're absolutely fantastic. And um, here you can just see that I'm just washing all of the metallics on the vehicle. Now we're going to create an extra layer of depth on the metallics using Ammo by MIGS Light Rust Wash. I thin down the Light Rust Wash with some odorless thinner about one to one. So one drop of odorless thinner to one drop of Light Rust Wash. And the reason I did this is I wanted the effect to be uh, more subtle than it was straight out of the bottle. Now we're going to dry brush all of the metallics on the vehicle using Vallejo Game Air Silver. This is a very very bright colour so make sure you remove most of the paint from the bristles of the brush on some paper towel and then lightly go over all of the metallics and this will create a really nice contrast between all of those deep shadows that we got with the strong tone wash and uh, now we're going to get those lovely highlights from the dry brush.
Now we're going to create some subtle um, shading uh, from this earth color from Vallejo Game Air. What this is going to do is look like a little bit of mud or dirt has just slowly built up on the vehicle we're only going to aim for the very bottom quarter of the vehicle and on the wheels as well and this is going to as i said add just another layer of depth And here you can see we have our finished vehicle. I really loved building and painting this little car. It's such a cool little vehicle. And uh, it's so simple to put together from War Games exclusive there. Um, there's just three uh, resin components to the main bulk of the car. Then you've got the wheels and the guns and that's pretty much the whole build of it uh, took me about 10 minutes to put together maybe less than that to be honest um, but yeah I want to say a huge thank you once again to War Games exclusive for sending me the vehicle out for review uh, also I want to thank my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming and lastly as I mentioned at the start of the video guys uh, head on over to my Facebook page I do a lot of giveaways on my Facebook page and um, yeah you never know you could be lucky and win some some loot so uh, yeah thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video guys and I'll catch you in the next one